Hi, in this tutorial I want to show you another tool in Escape, Rows and Columns. You can access this tool from Object, Rows and Columns, and with this tool you can arrange the selected objects into a two-dimensional grid. Now let's select these objects here, click Arrange, and you see how this works. Now you may be wondering how exactly the tool calculates where each of these objects is going to be placed in the grid. Now it's not by color or size, but this is trying to keep the already existing rows and columns. And the way it does that, it checks if the selection or bounding boxes of each object overlap on the vertical or horizontal axis. So if I grab a guide here, you see that at some point all of these objects overlap. You see these here, even just a little bit, but they still overlap. Same thing is on the vertical. And if I select them again and arrange, you see how this works. Now I'm going to move this yellow circle just a little bit up like this. Select it, click arrange. And now you see that this circle went over here and some of the one of the green one ended here. I'm going to do this. This is because you see now they don't overlap anymore. Now the maximum number of rows and columns is 100. And notice here if I change right now the number of rows you see that the number of columns automatically changes. This is because we cannot have eight rows with more than two columns. Uh, we need to have more objects to have that. Same thing can happen if you adjust the columns. You see the number of rows can change automatically. Now let's see the next option here, equal height. I'm going to select these, click arrange. Then I'll deselect these two and click Arrange. And if I mouse over here, you see that it says, if not set, each row has the height of the tallest object in it. So in this case, this is not set. And each row has the height of the tallest object in it. That's why if you notice here, when this is set, each row is the same height. And here where it's not set, this row has a different height because we have a taller object here. I'm going to undo this. And I'll show you this align option. If I select this, click here, you see how this is aligned, the top here of the selection boxes. If I click the other option, the bottom is aligned. Let's see left and right. Now by default this fit into selection box option is selected. You can also use your custom spacing here. Select this option. And let's change this to 100 for example. And this works only in pixels. Arrange and you see how this is spaced can change it let's say to 200 you see this works so that's it for this tutorial like the video subscribe bye